Hi, take any empty box of shoes or anything available and cut the just top part and close the sides of the box. If you see the sides of the box are bending like mine, you can add a paper tape to make them equal from the sides. Take thick pieces of cardboard and cover all the sides of the box with the cardboard pieces to make it enough strong. I took the cardboard pieces for the sides a bit longer than the box, actual box, which I will give it the shape of a hut to cut it in a triangle shape. Here it's done and now I will cut it like a hut shape from the side. Also with the thick cardboard pieces. Take a stretchable uh, fabric piece which we will use for the cover uh, for the bag. Apply the hot glue or the white glue on this part stick the fabric just a half part and leave the rest of the part to stick the lid on it Take newspapers and cut the pieces uh, with the normal size. You can see I'm just making it uh, without measurement and cut the stripes of the newspaper to make the pipes for the waving of the box. Put newspaper into four pieces and now take any um, thin pipe or any pencil and roll it like this as shown these are uh, the long pieces and there are some pieces for the box to attach uh, we will uh, cut the newspaper into half to make it uh, almost the equal size of the box, the length. Now here, take the small size of newspaper pipes, stick them on the bottom on all the sides of the box as shown. This is the easiest way of uh, the waving. There is another way which is a little bit complicated which I didn't show in the video because not everybody can make. So this is a simple easy waving.
here you can see how it's done all the sides now take a long piece of the newspapers and start to wave it it's like one piece down one up it's same braid we will do it here you will see it stick the first part of the uh, pipe with the hot glue or any glue to the box and then start to uh, wave it like one stick of the newspaper up and one down one up and one down i hope you understand and if i start to make the complete procedure if i start to show the whole procedure i'm doing the video was going to be more longer than this so it's quite easy to understand what i'm doing here one stick up one down one up and one down you will complete the complete box the whole box like this cover it with the waving and if the newspaper pipes which you are using for waving is uh, became small you can add the uh, rest of the piece in it while applying the hot glue or any white glue here you will see once it's done now i will take another piece of the newspaper apply the hot glue and stick it on it inside the paper inside the pipe and complete the rest of the procedure again in the same way and i hope you understand here again same procedure stick the pipe inside the other one now one up and one down one up and one down here i have done all the box and for the long sides of the box what you will do is that instead of completing it for the sides you will turn the pipe backward again stick the other another pipe inside the first one and from this side where it's ending turn it backward and complete the same procedure again from here turn it back like this and repeat the same procedure one up and one down one up and one down Here I have done a uh, half of the piece. Now rest of the piece because it will be difficult to complete the waving. So I will just stick the glue, uh, stick the newspapers with the glue on the box simply like this. the both sides uh, rough edges of the newspapers and if you see there is a space between uh, uh, the newspapers like I have add another piece simply here it's done and now the long sides of the newspapers cut them as well just not all just a little bit so we can turn the rest of the newspaper inside the box now you need to take a thick piece of cardboard which has lines like this one which which we can turn easily not not this side just this way which can easily bend this one is going to be the cover of the uh, bag here cut just the uh, sides a little bit so we can insert this piece inside the newspapers here like this
you bend it slowly slowly according to the shape of the box here like this it's so easy and now bend it from the opposite side as well so it's easy to open and close so it holds the shape according to the bag pieces of cardboard and this is going to be cut into three pieces one is for the bag then other one is for the front and then the third one going to be the part where we will use it to lock the bag I hope you understand what I am doing here this is one part the reason to do it so it can easily hold the shape of the bending cardboard here like this the third part sorry the second part stick it here it's like a house shape Here I have a shopping bag, plastic one. Instead of using fabric, I'm using this bag inside the, the box so it's easy to clean as well. Here apply the white glue and cover all the sides, all inner part I mean, with this uh, bag or you can use even fabric as well. But it was available and uh, so I used it. And of course, if you didn't like the colors or whatever, of course, it's not available in every place. It's whatever you like, you can uh, use inside the box. But I used this in hurry and this was available only on that time. Here I have a golden acrylic paint. Now cover all the newspaper part with this acrylic paint. You can use any color you like. All the color is dry so now take the mod podge or any white glue apply it on the top part of the bag or uh, the cardboard piece the reason I'm doing because when we apply the acrylic paints the cardboard will not bend from the colors the mod podge or the white glue will make it harden and uh, will secure it from the bending the fun part start uh, use any colors you like I'm using uh, blue black and golden bronze shades just apply them on the top of the cardboard piece and just play around with the colors mix them with pencil or with your fingers or anything just to blend them together like a marble shape
Now I'm using a golden bronze acrylic paint. This has some pigments inside which shines a lot. So just uh, throw it on top a little bit like this and uh, mix them together. And I'm doing this work while all colors are wet. So they blend together uh, properly. They give shades of each other. Here I am using blue uh, color more because I want this color to be prominent. So I just apply on top and then blend it again. Here when colors dry, I spray them with the transparent spray to make them more secure and shine. Here you can see the shine. And now I have some uh, fabric handles. This I use it from a bag. I cut it just like this and I will stick it on the top of the, uh, this new bag. You can use whatever color you like, even golden. If you don't like the black color, you can use even golden handles, whatever available. And then you can use any uh, magnets or buttons or whatever available to lock the bag. Here I have a clay brochure I made long time before and I will use this here on the top of the box. a chain golden color which I will apply here on top and here we done uh, you can use whatever colors you like um, and I just gave the idea how to make uh, the bag out of the recycle box I hope you like the video please give me thumbs up subscribe to channel for more videos and thanks for watching